Okay, I have my tape runner and I forgot to ink this piece of paper, so let's ink it up real quick. And I cut this one with that border at the bottom. So I'm gonna put it on here just like that. <clears throat> the next piece that I cut is five and a half tall so that I could get the writing correctly and five and three quarters wide. Again, ink. Slip that down into the inside of the pocket and then line it up at the top and on the edges. Then we'll put this in here for now. I haven't planned any particular thing. I think you could put a photo on here. Uh, you will have extra stickers left over so we can add some of that in in with that. Uh, let's see what we've got. Might want to add something right now. We've got these little cute little banner flag pieces. I think I'm going to add one here. And they come in little segments. Put just a little space there black dotted one. So if you're going to put a picture on here then you would not want to of course um, add this and let's see I think on the pocket I'm going to put maybe this cast and crew like this Um, look who we met. So you can arrange your stickers any way that you want to. Put that right there. And then maybe I want something here on the end to finish that. I could put, I think I haven't used the red one here. There. That's cute. I like that. So we put that in there and we'll make a tag. So let me look in my scraps of paper here, what we have. I have this. Uh, that's going that direction though, so I don't think that would work. Really getting low on the scraps here. Let's use this one and I'm going to cut this three inches wide. So I want to show you how to do a tag three inches wide and the height of it I think will work for a tag. So the height of it is six and a quarter. Now I take my crocodile chomper that is the angle, it comes as an angle in photo, so I use the angle one at the top to get the angle shape. And then I like to round the corners. Corner under, there it is. I'm going to use the half inch chomper side for the round the edges. And then I'm going to ink this up. Now you can punch a hole or a circle. Because this has circles on it, I'm not going to punch a circle. I'm going to show you how to make a tab pull thing. So let's find some 
Oh, I like the stripe. So this is just about the right width. That's why you want to always keep your scrap. So it's about an inch wide, no, an inch and a quarter. And I'm going to cut it down to about, fold it in half there. So that's just going to make it folded in half. So you would need a piece that's about four inches. Fold it exactly in half, score that, ink your edges, front and back, and then where's our tag? I'm going to take the tag here and center that, and where is, there it is, use my tiny attacher and just hit it a couple of times with the little stapler. And we have a cute little tag with a paper tab, so we'll slip that in there like that. And let's see, what we got? Got some kind of sticker we might want to put on there. I like this one. We are here. Let's ink that up a little bit. that right on there. I like how that turned out. That's cute. So that pulls out and you still can put a picture back there. Now, should we put something else on this piece or not? Casting crude. No magic. We've got this tag sticker. No, not there. Okay, I cut this out of some of the scraps of the paper, the ticket paper. I don't have much here left. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna check my stash and see what I have left, and if I have enough, I will cut at least a half sheet, so you will have an extra sheet for cutting uh, little tickets out. And I use my scissors. I don't use decorative scissors very much anymore, but this one has the Fiskars Paper Edger Stamp Edge. And so I use that to cut the little ticket ends like that. And I think I'm going to put that on there. So I ink up the ends and the sides. I'm just going to use tape runner to stick that down. It gives you a place to put your date and the name. And then I'll put that heart right there. Okay. There's that one. Still plenty of room in this little envelope to add more photos, loose photos. You could mat them, some journaling boxes. This page I think I'm going to leave blank for right now, and I'm going to make another pocket. So I'm going to show you exactly how I made the pocket. Pick this off. Okay. Get my little scoreboard. Put the long side at the top, score at half inch on each side. Turn it. Scored half inch on just one side. Take your scissors and angle cut out the little squares, two on each side on the long side. Angle in to the V, to the point. Score on the fold lines, fold it up and burnish. Now we'll add score tape. Hold 
right there so you can see where I put the score tape. So let's go ahead and move this off. Okay, I'm going to remove the backing. So this is going to put two of these little pockets in this little album. Stick them up together and fit this one flush at the bottom edge along the fold here and along the cut edge over here on the side. Okay, now. So let me look here. Yes, I want the little pattern at the bottom. So again, I cut this five and three quarters by two. Okay, then I cut the papers to go inside that. You'll notice that to get make sure I had it down inside enough, I went ahead and left that tab part there because it's not going to show. And so this ended up the final cut being six and three quarters wide to get the writing in the right direction and five and a half tall. don't need to ink the bottom edge because that's not going to show, just the sides. The sides and the top. So that's going to fit down into there. And this little envelope, the yellow one, fits in there. So now do we want to decorate that up like we did the other one a little bit? Let's see what we've got that I haven't planned to use on anything else yet. Okay, let's see. Just a little goofy. take a strip of the scallop here. And you got to make sure you punch out all the little holes. 